uh, in with us from the uh, Black Sheep Choir. I've probably got the name of uh, your choir because you're a chorus and, and all sorts of other things. Good morning, first of all, Mary. How are you? Good morning. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Um, now, we're hoping to catch uh, some of your music and play some shortly. But tell us, first of all, uh, what is the name uh, of the organisation? What's the name of the choir? We are um, Black Sheep Harmony Ladies Chorus. OK. So I should have got that right. The Black Sheep Harmony Ladies Chorus. OK. Uh, and how long have you been going? Um, we've been going just over two years. I've got, I've got loads of notes here, but I'm not going to read them because I'm going to make you tell me everything, you see. <laughs> um, ladies Choir, what, what kind of style of stuff do you do? Um, we do all sorts of music, actually. I mean, primarily we do sing in the barbershop style, um, but we do all different sorts of a cappella, right from um, everything, you know, 100 years old, right through to modern stuff like Elbow. So we do, and everything else in between. We wow. do Disney, everything. So how did it start off then? Because, um, I mean... Barbershop, kind of, to me, and it might be a wrong perception, is always like a male barbershop choir or, or chorus or whatever. So, uh, females in that barbershop style, brilliant. Um, I'd, I'd love to hear, and I'm hoping that we can hear. So, how did it all begin? Um, basically, I mean, Bristol is absolutely a hub of barbershop, and in right. the Bristol area, there's several different ladies' choruses. Um, they all really started because there's a really great male chorus called the Great Western Chorus in Bristol. Yeah, and some of the we know them. Yeah, and some of the ladies, you know, wanted to go off and do their thing. So now you've got, um, we've got us, Black Sheep, you've got Avon Harmony, Bristol Fashion, Fascinating Rhythm, there's one in Gloucester Cleave Harmony, um, and there's one in Western as well, Waves of Harmony. And there's all these ladies, and Bristol being such a huge city that it is, there's enough, you know, that everybody can have a go. Um, and we cover um, the part of Bristol, and we're in Warmley, so we're covering that area, and, you know, it's, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. There's probably a few hundred people in this area doing it. So what kind of... Um, gigs and stuff did you do when you when you first began you got together how difficult is it because we've seen these things on TV for example when you've got these like you know famous people trying to get people that don't normally sing uh, but are interested uh, in singing how do you kind of arrange everybody and say sorry Amy um, you know um, thanks for coming but you can't sing how, do you do that no, we don't. Huh? Um, what we do, if somebody arrives for the first time, um, we try and join them in as quickly as possible. We get, okay. them, you know, we get them up on the rises. Um, by the time you get to the tea break with the sheep cake, um, you will be heard singing something probably like Bar Bar Black Sheep or Row 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 the Boat. Right. And straight away we'll get you in a voice part. Um, if you've got a low, low voice, then you will be a female bass. If you if are... You have a, do I have quite a high voice, Mary? I have no idea. Would you like to have a sing? Should we get, did you know, I was <laughs> going to say that. Uh, I'm trying to get some audio, um, uh, Ain't Misbehaving, which uh, hopefully will arrive in uh, in my Dropbox shortly to play. Um, so, Amy, you were... You were <laughs> Here right. we go. No, it's important because, yeah. um, you know, we want to get, um, I think you're on a bit of a recruitment drive, so we want... We are, we want as many I would like to see yeah, how you can be able to tell. Yeah. Yeah. So go on, um, I'm so going to turn the music off in the background and oh you guys go God, for okay. it. Oh my God, okay, this is, okay, this is me not taking myself too seriously. Okay, go sing on. it comfortably. Okay, what shall I sing? Um, sing Bar Bar Black Sheep. Okay. <laughs> Bar Bar Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the main. <laughs> da, 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 da. I feel lives down the lane. Well, I think what we've got here is a lead. Oh, oh lead is the person that sings mainly sings the tune. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you enjoy that? I'm trying to think of any other nursery rhyme that I know. Yeah, I was surprised. I, I, I was surprised that you could actually hold a key. <laughs> so was, was, was there a, well, why could fair. I hold a key in there? And I'd like to know as well, and, I, and I'm only saying this because um, I, when I was growing up, I'm a hundred and uh, and we, we stopped singing Bob or Black Sheep in schools. I'm not being politically correct, but we stopped singing it, and I don't know what I don't know why we stopped singing. I I don't know what the connotation of that song was. So anybody that knows, uh, text us uh, six zero triple seven. Sorry, text with BCFM because uh, our little and three year old is uh, uh, India is, is, was singing that. Um, yeah, I remember there was a thing that you was it was told not the, to sing it. Yeah, it but off that subject, you hold. She actually, I thought she would be really bad. No, she's oh, really good. I thought it was that. Brilliant. You could come next, but you come this week. <laughs> listen, That's actually quite surprising. If you want to know what the guys sound like, I managed to grab a little bit of audio. Let's have a listen to this. 
I hope. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed that actually. So that's you guys uh, live. Yeah, and that was only half of the chorus. So really, yeah, we did it last week. How many people in the chorus? Uh, if you've got a kind of like a full performance, I maybe? think there's round about 35 people, but we would really like our numbers up to about 60. Wow. Okay. So how can people get in contact if they're kind of interested? Saying, Do you know what? Because sometimes there will be people with probably some pretty amazing voices um, that I've just never ever thought of singing let alone you know privately publicly so how do they how do you make that that step from oh I think I, I think I can hold the tune um, to getting involved well just kind of turn up I mean every Thursday at Cadbury Heath Hall we always got an open rehearsal yeah just turn up come and listen come and join in if you want to um, it's half past seven that we go till ten about 10 o'clock we always go to the pub afterwards you know important things like see that that, that that may well be a good reason for someone to come <laughs> and there's more than the singing we go off on lots of trips and stuff too um, but no just come and come and see I mean it's such a friendly group of people there's people from all we've got doctors lawyers mums retired people people all sorts of people you know that come to our chorus Please just come. You will. It will really change your life. I imagine it, it's apart from the singing itself. It, it, it's a real social thing as well because you know expanding groups of friends, making new friends. So through uh, the music and and the singing, actually. Uh, kind of a whole world out there of, of, of meeting new people apart from going to the pub and, and, and going on trips as well but it can be quite da daunting for people that maybe haven't gone out and you know people like mums at home or, 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 or single people or, or uh, our elders that kind of think do you know what I'm stuck in the, the life that I've got but I would really love to I think the idea of just going to watch even just not worrying about going to audition or just go and watch and see uh, if it's something that you'd like to do, is probably a good first step, isn't it? It is. I mean, just go for it. I mean, my story was is that I was a mum at home with three children, right. and also working as a carer, quite a stressful job. Um, and I was desperate to go and do something because my whole life revolved around children. Yeah. Um, I turned up at the local local toddler group, and there was a, a poster on the wall. Um, and I really just didn't have time. You know, all I had was my children and my work. Yeah. 
Um, and I just went, you know, out of sheer curiosity because I wanted to get out. It was the best thing I ever did. Really? Um, I've actually got an article online about this. I might post it up on your page. Yeah, you should. But put I it found on your it page. so hard. My feet were shaking and my hands were shaking. And, you know, but I walked in there and I heard it and I met all these lovely people and it was so worth it. So please, you know, just come. We'll make you really, really welcome. I and promise. Pe people as well that, that kind of, because we listen to music. So being that I'm, I'm lucky on, on the other side uh, to be able to be involved in making music as well. And, it's, it's, and you sometimes think, I, I would love to be able to do that. And actually with a choir such as yours, you'd be able to do that so ra rather than just enjoy listening to music you can be part of that and y you explain i mean it, it's easy for you you explain what the feeling is like being on a, a stage whether you're at a festival or a fete and seeing the reaction of audiences from from what you've done how does that make you feel oh it it really is quite something i mean i've been very very lucky i mean i've gone from doing nothing into all this and when people, we've had audiences reduced to tears mm. um, with some of our singing. We've had people up singing and dancing, obviously, in that we've done we've done all sorts. And I mean, I've gone a little bit further and I've joined quartets as well. And okay. I, I mean, I was really lucky. My quartet high tea, we took part in the Ladies Association of Barbershop Singers um, after being formed in March. Wow. And we actually qualified as mic warmers to take part in a convention in October. Amazing. And there are probably going to be a thousand people in the audience. Gosh. Um, and, you know, I'm really lucky. And, you know, I, it was really, really nerve wracking. And you, your name's not called out. And then all of a sudden your name's called out. And you think, oh, you've done really, really well. So this, you know, just joining a choir is more than just joining a choir. Mm. It can lead on to as much or as little as you want it and to And you're be. not on your own as well. I mean, unless you're doing a solo piece. But you not on your own and, and and that's what i like you know whether it's sport or in a group or something there are solo singers that i've it must be difficult for for, for some of those people but when you're with a group of friends or, or people that you're getting to know there's kind of a safety around you as well isn't there if you can if you can be on stage with those people yeah definitely i mean what we do if there's new people <coughs> joining or people that aren't so quite so confident we'll bury them in among people that do know what they're doing um, and that will help you carry you along. Oh, just to say, you don't need to be able to learn to read music or anything. We supply CDs with all the parts on. Brilliant. So you can sing along in your car or in your kitchen or wherever you sing, um, in your shower, wherever you want to sing, really. <laughs> um, and you can sing like that. But we also supply sheet music to people who need it as well. But yeah, you know, it's, it's designed for everybody. Brilliant. Now you've got a Facebook group, um, you're, I think you're on Twitter and all the other bits and pieces. So give that out, but we'll make sure that we also put it on our One Love Breakfast Facebook page. So anybody that's either driving or at home and thinking, I haven't got a pen, don't worry, just go to the One Love Breakfast Facebook page and we'll add all these details on there. Uh, but for those that do want the information, uh, do you want to give it out, Mary, how people can kind of contact you guys? Yeah, we've got um, a, a website at www.blacksheetharmony.co.uk. We've also got a Facebook page, a Black Sheep Harmony Late Black Sheep Harmony's Ladies Chorus. Um, we've also got a web page for our sheep, Where in the World is Lambert the Black Sheep? Whee. Um who travels the world. You need to go and have a look because it's very quirky. In fact, yeah. he's even been in a radio station this morning. Hey, and I and, and I saw, yeah, I saw you taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a picture as well for our Facebook page in a second. Uh, we'll take one as well, which would be which would be great. So the advice is really, uh, you're warmer, you're my neck of the woods, that's where I am uh, uh, up there as well. So um, just come along on a, a Thursday, is it, when you rehearse? Yeah, Thursday, 7.30, Cadbury Heath Hall. Um, okay. And we said people really travel. I mean, we have somebody even come all the way down from Swindon. Wow. So people do travel to our group. It is worth it. And we've won awards. Um, you know, you will learn to sing with us. You amazing, will. amazing. Um, we're going to play just a little bit more before we hit the news. Uh, something called uh, Sunshine Smile, uh, which I've got from you guys. And so um, we've been speaking to Mary Williams from the Black Sheep Harmony Ladies Chorus. Harmony Ladies Chorus. There you go. Come on, ladies. I know there are people out there that would really love to yeah, get involved. Join up. Uh, join up. And you haven't got to live in Warmley. You can live anywhere. Look, somebody comes from Swindon. If you're really interested in that, those vocals uh, and getting involved and learning, uh, or you're not even sure, go and watch. Go with a friend if need be. Uh, get someone to hold your hand. Uh, Amy. Have yes. you, and now that you've been told that you've actually got an all right voice, would you ever um, try? I was in the choir at school, actually. Were you? Yeah. 
did they throw you out or? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get enough practice. It, it probably wasn't because you were a bad singer. No, it's because I was probably because you go outside and run around in my lunch time. And you sing. talked a lot. Yeah, I'm I think. Problem. I, I would always be talking and I get told off. So if someone said, "Can you sing a song when you were little?" What would you sing? Um. Ooh, what song would I sing? Do you sing like a nursery rhyme, like Twinkle Twinkle or something? I like might that? sing a nursery rhyme. All right, sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, go on, Amy, because I, want, I just want our listeners to, to... Go on. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Come on. Up above oh, no, the no, no. world so high. All right, thanks. No, okay. I knew you did that just for your own entertainment. All right, you're not going to get a clap, honestly. Okay. Uh, Mary, we're going to play out with uh, Sunshine Smile. So um, the advice is really get involved, isn't it, if you can? Yeah, just come along. I would make you very welcome along with everybody else. Brilliant. We'll put all the details on the One Love Breakfast Facebook page. Uh, it's been Mary Williams from the... I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it wrong again. From the Black Sheep... Harmony's latest chorus. Yeah, it's early for me. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Here's Sunshine Smile. You shine so 